All right, so it is currently Thursday the 30th, and I kind of want to go through <clears throat> some things that I've been doing so far. So the first thing is I got a haircut, so now I'm not rocking with a mop head anymore. So I got a haircut today, and then yesterday was Wednesday, and I got new clubs. I got some TaylorMade M4 irons, five through approach so that's what i did yesterday and i wanted to get some input on if i should do any golfing videos over the summer because i'll be golfing a lot um probably by myself on the course that is right next to my house so if you guys want to see any golfing videos or anything like that um let me know in the comments or just reach out <coughs> with video suggestions as always so i think that would be fun and these irons are gonna be a lot of fun. So that would be awesome. And then also, um, I got protein today. So I got the Cinnamon Crunch Cereal Protein from Raw. So I'm gonna go to the gym and hit chest and back. And then after, I'll do a review on this protein and uh, rate it one through 10. But today I'm not gonna do a uh, video in the gym just because it's early and i don't want to bother people with like recording and stuff like that so uh i'll do a recording tomorrow and then also include that in the same video so that's how i'll kind of roll so i'll see you guys when i'm done with the gym reviewing that protein all right so i just got done with my workout so i just got home so now i'm gonna try the cinnamon crunch cereal protein from the bum protein from raw nutrition <clears throat> i got high hopes because it smells really good so I'll give this a little shake because i already put my protein in here so give it a one through ten Oh, that's good. Oh, that's really good. I'm gonna have to give it a 10 out of 10. It is, I mixed it with water, so it's not with milk, but it has like that milky flavor. It tastes like cinnamon toast crunch milk, like after you, like the, out of the bowl, after you eat all the cereal and then you take a drink. This is what it tastes like. It tastes so good. 10 out of 10, easily. I can't believe this stuff is good for you. This is really good. Alright, so <clears throat> it is Friday the 31st, so I just made breakfast. I got egg whites with a little bit of um, Frank's buffalo sauce for wings on there because it adds flavor without adding calories, so that's why I got it on there, and it tastes pretty good. So that's what I'm eating for breakfast. So I am going to eat that and then take my Revive supplements, which is zinc and vitamin D, and then um, I don't know what I have planned next. But today I got arms and shoulders that I'm going to film on the tripod in the gym later tonight. So I will see you in the next clip. <laughs> All right, so I am currently going to go to the gym and hit arms and shoulders. It's like 10 o'clock at night right now and storming. So hopefully there's nobody there and I can get some good filming in. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys on the tripod in the gym. All right, so like I said, we are hitting chest and, or not chest and back, but arms and shoulders today. So I am gonna warm up with some shoulder stuff and then go right into bicep, tricep, bicep, tricep, and then that'll be it. I'm gonna start off with some overhead presses with the 50s. I kind of warmed up before this, so I'm gonna go and probably not do a lot of reps. All right, 
Next, we got rear delt flies and uh, like Y flies. So when you're doing these, you really want to make sure that you're not swinging your arms. You want to control the weight the whole time down and then kind of pause right there and then come up with the weight and then come down and then pause just so that you're not using your movement or momentum to swing the weights and you really get a good contraction on your rear delt, which is right here. So next I'm gonna be doing lateral raises, standing lateral raises. So for these, you wanna make sure that you're not coming too far up with your arm, like above your head, because then you're gonna put too much strain on your muscle and you can injure yourself really easily doing that. So you just wanna come up to like, sh like shoulder, shoulder length, and like to your collarbone. Alright, next we got drag curls. So these ones you're going to try and keep the bar close to your body and it will really work that peak of your bicep. like Batman right now dressed in all black. Alright, for this next workout, I'm going to do a tricep exercise, the one where you take the dumbbell and you push it over your head like that. But I'm going to do it on the preacher curl machine because it's easiest to do like something where you you don't have to reach but all the way behind a bench and then stretch your like lats and then pull on your shoulders and then put a lot of tension on there. So if you do it on like a preacher curl machine like this one right here, then you don't you don't have to like reach far behind you and put a lot of stress on your shoulders. So that's why I like doing it on the preacher curl machine. I'm going to do two more workouts and that's going to be cable rope curls and then uh, push downs. So that's going to be pretty self-explanatory.
So that's going to wrap it up for this video. It's like 1230 at night, so I'm going to drink this protein shake, uh, the Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal one that I got using code LANCE1, of course. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.